Today we're going to sketch the graph of each piecewise function. Remember a piecewise function is a function made up of multiple subfunctions that are defined on different intervals of the domain. So let's begin. The first piece of this piecewise function only applies when the x's are less than or equal to zero. Let's determine the characteristics of this piece. We have a quadratic. I could rearrange this quadratic to be in standard form. Then you may notice that a is equal to negative one b is equal to 0, and c is equal to 4. If b is equal to 0 and h is negative b over 2a, h will be 0, so the x part of our vertex is 0. To find k, I'll plug in 0 into this piece of the function. So the vertex of my first piece is 0, 4. Because a is negative 1, when we move one unit away from the vertex, we'll rise a, and two units will rise 4a. So let's graph this parabola. But is this parabola defined for all the x values I just graphed? No, it's only defined for x is less than or equal to 0. So I'm going to erase everything to the right of 0. But because this has the or equal to, the vertex stays. It is not a hole, it's a filled in point. This piecewise function is made up of a second piece. When the x's are greater than 0, the y values are 3. That's a horizontal line at y equals 3. In order for this piecewise function to truly be a function, we can't have two y values for the same x value. So at x equals 0, the parabola point is defined, the horizontal line point is not defined. So I'll put a hole at 0, 3 to show that everything approaching 3 from the right is allowed, but at the actual x value of 0, 3 is not the y value. The y value is 4. There's graphing a piecewise function with two pieces, one being a parabola and one being a constant or a horizontal line. It looks like this piecewise function has two parabolas. Let's figure out their characteristics. Now I know my vertex is 3, 0, and A will help us determine the rise. So I've graphed the first piece, but then I remember there's a domain restriction that this parabola is only existent when the x's are less than or equal to 3. So everything to the right of 3 on this parabola I need to erase. Let's figure out the characteristics of the second piece. The vertex of this piece is 4, 0, and the rise is 1 and 4. To the left of the vertex, we rise 1. To the right, we rise 1. To the left, 2, we rise 4. To the right, 2, we rise 4. Graph your parabola. But remember, this parabola is restricted to only x values that are greater than 3. So I'll erase all the y values for which the x's are approaching 3 from the left. But then I have a problem. This is not a function because this point is filled in and this point is filled in. That would fail the vertical line test of being a function. So I check my intervals and notice the second parabola does not have a point at 3. So we need to make this point into a hole. Everything approaching it is defined, but at the actual x value of 3, the y value is not defined at 1. It is defined at 0, given by the first piece. There's a piecewise function with two parabolas. Now let's graph a piecewise function with three pieces. The first piece is just a horizontal line, and that's defined for x is less than or equal to negative 4. Because we have the or equal to, this point is defined at 6. The second piece is a parabola, so let's find its vertex. Go ahead and graph the parabola using the rise. This parabola, however, is only defined between negative 4 and 0, and not at negative 4 or at 0. So at negative 4 and at 0, we should have a hole. Everything outside of that interval should be erased. Our last piece is a line in y equals mx plus b form. So our slope is 1 and our y-intercept is 2. 
for this interval of x's, the y value at x equals 0 is defined. And that's graphing piecewise functions with quadratic, linear, and constants.